Imagine every bolt of lightning on Earth, about 8 million per day, suddenly deciding to hit the exact same spot. Not spread across clouds and continents, but focused like nature's death laser on one unlucky point on the planet. Yeah, that would be bad. Very, very bad. Normally, lightning spreads out all over the Earth. Storms over Africa, America, Asia, everywhere. Each strike delivers about 1 billion joules of energy, enough to toast 100,000 slices of bread. Now multiply that by 8 million. That's enough electricity to power every home in the U.S. for several hours. Hours, and we're dumping it all into one spot in one instant. Let's say all that lightning hits somewhere flat and open, like the middle of the Sahara Desert. The first few strikes superheat the air to five times the surface of the sun. Then the rest arrive, piling energy faster than anything nature has ever done before. The ground would vaporize into plasma, sand turns to glass, glass turns to vapor, and vapor turns into a rising fireball miles wide. The air shockwave would flatten everything within tens of kilometers, like a small nuclear blast. And the heat? You'd see a glowing crater from orbit. But that's not all. The sudden energy release would punch the atmosphere so hard it could trigger global effects. Dust, smoke, and vapor would shoot into the stratosphere, dimming sunlight for weeks. Basically, Earth just gave itself a lightning-powered sunburn. The result? A crater the size of a city, air temperatures hotter than lava, and maybe even temporary climate shifts. If it happened over the ocean, the instant steam explosion could launch a column of water into space. Congratulations, you just made the world's most metal weather event. So yeah, lightning is awesome in small doses, but all of it at once? That's like replacing your toaster with the sun. Next time you see a thunderstorm, maybe be thankful Earth spreads them out. If you liked this electrifying thought experiment, hit that like button and tell me in the comments, where would you want all that lightning to strike? Don't forget to subscribe for more What If Science Adventures, one spark of curiosity at a time.